What is more attractive on a guy? Someone who's tall or someone who's muscular? Tall. 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 You're short, so. <laughs> what a this, okay. So, I don't know, tall and muscular. Tall. Okay, so for reference, I'm 5'7", so what do you consider tall? Six foot at least. Six, You're six short. Foot. Yeah, <laughs> I heard you the first time. She's tall, so she's uh, how, how tall is she? How tall is she? She's like 5'9". Five 5'9", nine. Nine. Five nine? okay, okay. Sure. And then what's the lowest you would go for? Six foot. So you go yeah, six foot. Six foot, that's the you're lowest you'd go average. for. I'm below average, okay. Wait, so you're five seven? Yeah. So you're I'm like five five. Wait, you have a boyfriend? Yeah. Where is he? He's home. Oh, He's at home. Oh, come on! You're too short, you're five foot. Seven. Wait, hold on, where's your boyfriend? Why is he home? He's he has this a girl's trip. Yeah. A girl's trip? And he has, he has trust. trust. I heard a lot of trust. I heard a lot of red flags about girls' trips. Yeah. I've heard, just so you guys know, body positivity only exists for women. And I don't know why that refrigerator would not stop yapping. Me, why does only the lady have to wear a ring and say, I'm claims, but the- Um, hi. I used to work in the jewelry industry, and I think I have an answer to your question. Women are cheap. And I don't mean in like a frugal way. I mean just cheap. I have sold well over 250 plus engagement rings in my time in the jewelry Me, why does only the lady have to wear a ring and say, I'm claims, but the- Um, hi. I used to work in the jewelry industry, and I think I have an answer to your question. Women are cheap. And I don't mean in like a frugal way. I mean just cheap. I have sold well over 250 plus engagement rings in my time in the jewelry industry. And the custom is, right, um, the man will come in and buy the engagement ring for the woman, but the woman is supposed to buy the wedding band for the man. It's supposed to signify, you know, like a partnership. You know, like I do for you, you do for me kind of thing. And nine times out of ten, and I really stress nine times out of ten, the woman would come in and buy the cheapest, and I mean the cheapest, tungsten wedding band I've ever seen. It's ugly. It doesn't fit. She doesn't know his ring size. I had a woman buy a thin blue line wedding band one time. Her fiancé wasn't even a cop. I mean, I was only the salesman, so what do I know? Text the last person you messaged that they are really annoying, pretending it was for someone else. Who's the last person I messaged? It's Megan. <laughs> I'm going to pretend it's to you, yeah? Yeah. Bro, Megan's getting on my tits with this shit today. <laughs> I'm going to wait till she comes online. And then, and then, and then I'm going to delete it and then say, ignore. He's online now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm going to give it a couple seconds. For delete, everyone. delete for everyone. <laughs> ignore. <laughs> Let's see what she did. Type in, 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 type in. Wow. <laughs> I need to call her. <laughs> what did she, she just said, wow. Yeah, she said, wow, full stop. Yeah, she's hot. That's why you know it's serious. A full yeah, stop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When a woman sends you one sentence <laughs> or one word and a full stop, she's yeah. nice. I want to see if she answers. Everyone, everyone keep quiet. Oh. <gasps> this is why you shouldn't cry during your pregnancy. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. Now you're a single mom. Now you're a single mom. E, get a woman that doesn't go out half naked and seek validation from other men. Fellas, if she's going out dressing like that, it's a red flag. If a guy is giving you too much attention, mm -hmm. what does that do for you? Major turn off. Why? I think it's, I don't know, it's kind of unhealthy to say, but there's just like too much of a good thing. Not a good thing. There's no chase. There's no, mm -hmm. there's no grab point. So Because it maybe feels like validation seeking. Mm -hmm. They're checking in all the time to see. Yeah. Or oftentimes it can come off as controlling. Mm. Where, what are you doing? What are you up to? Stay away from women like this, fellas. It ain't worth it. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs>
Hey, you got it, you want? <laughs> I was trying to see what's inside the black swimmer. I'm just playing, you need help. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you guys want to see the uh, key to a pregnant woman's heart? Bam! <laughs> They knew I was coming. <laughs> oh, they knew I was coming. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Listen, Texas Roadhouse Rolls can solve about any problem that your pregnant wife is having. For five minutes, and then and we back. I only ordered six. Uh, I only ordered six rolls. They knew the sock was coming. They knew she and was they pregnant. They gave me a whole dozen. <laughs> Is this? Oh are you God. happy now, Mama? Mmm. 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 Good. If he won't, find someone who will. Like, if he won't open your door for you, find someone who will. Simple, right? My brother just asked me, does that work for guys, too? I was like, of course. So he's like, so if she doesn't cook for me, find someone who will. If she won't do my laundry for me, then find a girl that will. Mm. Why does it sound so bad when men say it? It does make sense, doesn't it? Hmm? But these modern women can't accept it, and they say it's controlling. Chivalry is dead, and women killed it. POV, this is one of her biggest pet peeves. reversing in for me. Sweet. Hi. Get him, bitch. What? <laughs> what? You shut that door, we we done. What'd you say? I said if you shut the door, we're done. We done. If yeah. I close the door? Yes. If you shut the door, that's it. What you mean if I close the door, we done? What you mean done with what? If you shut the door, we're done. Like we're over. And you still gonna shut the damn you door? Done with I, our relationship? You still you already didn't shut the door. You didn't even get a clarification of what I was talking about. So yeah, we done. You already and you gonna shut it again. You gonna walk too. Stay out the door. No, keep the door closed. You can walk. You just said some crazy shit. You already closed the door two times while I was still talking, so don't worry about it. Shut the door and I'm gonna pull right on out. You gonna leave me here? Yep. I gotta walk? Yep. Hey. All right, bye. I'm gonna call your mama right quick and tell her that you gonna leave me. Kayla saying that if I shut the door, that we done. If you shut the door, we're done. And you still gonna shut the damn door. So we done. Are you serious? How much the ring cost, Mom? About 150, 200 bucks. And it lasts you 30 years of marriage? Yep, and I love it. How do you get there? You know you know these women be talking about they want $12,000 rings. What'd you think? Little mini walk away. True love is you love the person, not the actual material of it. Oh, talk, talk to him. Talk to him, Mom. <laughs> talk to him, Mom. <laughs> That's a real woman right there. I appreciate good women like this. This is what these modern women should listen to for advice. Who's Bev? My friend. Who's Bev? My friend. So many friends lately, like so many different ones, like a lot of different names and stuff. What kind of friend is the Bev? That guy. A guy named oh do you want me to answer that for you you got it give me the phone <laughs> oh my god false alarm false alarm take this crap
unpopular opinions. If women have such high standards, then why is it that there's still so many single mothers out there? And why are women getting pregnant by broke dudes that can only pay $100 in child support? The fact that OnlyFans exists is proof that women are okay with being sexualized as long as they're in control of how they're being sexualized. Women will always say that it's women supporting women, but when they're posting thirst traps, they don't think about the women behind the screens that are attached to the men that are liking the photos or the videos. So is it really women supporting women? The girl that posted that she was dating a broke guy then followed it up with the fact that he has a house and he's trying to pay off debt means that that is one fundamental difference between men and women is because men want to get their finances in order and women want to go travel and spend all this money that they don't have. And most people miss the point. Most people rip that girl to shreds by looking like a filter because she said we shouldn't use filters, but y'all miss the point of how we should love ourselves that we don't need a filter in the first place. But y'all were so quick to judge her that you missed the whole message. Social media is proof that women will insert whatever the hell they want to hear because nine times out of 10, whatever they comment is just a reflection of how they feel about themselves. So I can only imagine how the men feel. Okay, bye.